yard line. The Steelers offense now they head back onto the field and following the interception just any interception are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll go again with Bell. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. A screen to Bell. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Roethlisberger with a give to Bell. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They come up in an offset eye. In motion left here, Antonio Brown. Now Roethlisberger going to hand to Bell. Shedding the tackler, and it gives him some room. The 20. And all at the end of it, he's stripped. Ball comes loose. And this defense has broken it open as they return it to the house for six. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't do anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. <laughs> well now to kick it away after the touchdown that'll and be taken in the this, end zone another one. and he'll take it back to about the 19 yard line Philadelphia getting sent to take the field the and they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive but they're still down here Charles not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. And he'll power his way up near the 25. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Again, they'll run it. Again, it scrolls. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They come out here in the eye. They go play action here on first down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's caught. Did he stay in bounds, though? He did not. Ruled incomplete. That was close to a big play. and Just a little bit too far that he was led. He caught it but couldn't stay in bounds, Charles. Yeah, I'm not very good at these sort of things, but I have to believe the farther you are downfield, the less your margin for error in throwing the ball, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. Yeah, so they gave it a good effort there. Really tried, just couldn't complete it. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Wentz going to try and throw on third. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. 
Now Wentz, gotta have this one. He's gonna let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. A great read, and it's picked off. And the return this time will yeah, go no, on no, to no, the 42-yard no, no. line. And Pittsburgh no, no, getting no. set to take the field. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> he would have kept it on the ground. <laughs> now Bell. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. They come up in an offset eye. On third down, here's Bell. And some space here. Le'Veon Bell. Kiss him goodbye and into the end zone. Uh, Touchdown, for this man, Pittsburgh. <laughs> Le'Veon Bell, 53 yards. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points.